Admissions directors frequently say, quote, be authentic. Don't write what you think we want to hear, close quote. How can an applicant be authentic, put their best foot forward, especially when responding to goals questions where the applicant is worried their goal is too distant from what they've done in the past or mm-hmm. weird or somehow just not going to pass muster? I, th- I think that uh, that's a valid concern. From an applicant standpoint, there are times when I think the tendency to, is to think about, well, what should I write? What do they want to hear? For me, that's flawed thinking, but I understand why people think it. What I would like to encourage people to think through is what are the goals you want based on where you are currently and what are the aspirations you have for your career? There might be a goal that is too much to accomplish in a short period of time of the MBA program. And so I think just some thought and some conversation with a coach to talk through, you know, what makes sense. Is the short-term goal really the short-term goal or might that be an, uh, you know, an intermediate goal where based on someone's background, they should think about what's a, what's an interim step to get you to that goal. That's one way to think about it. One thing that I caution people against is to think about stating goals that they think will sit well with the admissions committee. So for an example, I had a conversation not too long ago with a candidate who was currently working in like a tech startup space. Mm -hmm. And they were they were thinking about business school and literally said, I, you know, I think maybe I should say that I'm interested in consulting since many, many more people go into consulting. And I said, okay, let's talk about that a little bit because I I understand that a lot of MBA programs and, and the, you know, consulting is for most programs is going to be one of the top sectors that, that students go into, but it's not the only one. Better for the applicant to think about How should they connect the dots between what they're doing and what they want to do, but yet convey an openness to opportunities that might arise once they get to school? Nothing that you that a candidate writes in their essays is set in stone by the school. No one they're not signing a contract. No one, no one from the career office pulls that out and says, but you said this. <laughs> right. Uh, so I think I think the, the best thing to do is to think about what you truly want to do and how the MBA will help you get there and then position it as, yeah, it makes sense as the short-term goal or this is my goal, but I think I need an intermediate step to get there or this is my goal, but I also have an interest in maybe consulting right? Uh, Like the tech startup space is really where I want to be, but I see in the longer run where skills I might get in three to five years of consulting work could be very valuable in the tech startup space. And so I think that's the conversation to have is really how do I think through the possibilities and and really be authentic in in what I want to do while understanding how the programs that you're applying to can can help to get you there. If the schools don't expect you to really, you know, you're not signing a contract, they're not going to hold you to it. Yeah. Why why are they so interested in them? What's yeah. the point? That, and, uh, another really good question. And here has, the, this was my philosophy the whole time is, as I was looking at an application, I wanted to see that somebody did the work to think through a plausible path what makes sense and what is what can they accomplish at the school that they were applying to and if it's you know school a might be a little bit different than school b and so so then the the way someone presents those goals you you might want to you know there might be other things to bring to bear but from the admissions committee standpoint a plausible path is really what they want to see that you've that the candidate has given it thought and, and what your plan is makes sense. You know, one of the things I remember working at admissions is being at an event with prospective students and having a panel of alums. And it was, it happened more often than not that the that the alumni would say, well, don't tell admissions as we're standing there. Don't tell <laughs> admissions, but that's not really what I wanted to do, or I didn't know that that's what I wanted to do. And, and that's not what our expectation, our expectation isn't that you have to know. It's that the plan you lay out makes sense. 
Because if you lay out a sensible plan now, you can do it in the future if your interests change. Absolutely. 